up here, dude. Eat it now, baby. There it is. Ooh. Get back in there. Oh, bad. Very bad. I'm in a tree. Oh, no. This is not good, folks. Look at the tree. See what happens when you don't pay attention? Oh, I'm gonna pull that tree out of the ground. I'm coming to get you, baby. I'm coming to get you. Time to put her into four wheel drive. Look at this. There's a giant frog waiting for my bait in the tree. He wants it. Ah! I'm like inches from it. Get her. Yes! No matter what happens here, my day's a success. 65 pound test power pro. Not only is it catching more fish, but it keeps more lures. One thing I know for sure, when it comes to working a frog, the jury's out. It all depends on what different pro you talk to. You put a room full of pro anglers together and they're all gonna disagree. They all do different things. I know guys who just burn it back to the boat. I know guys who pop it super slowly. What I do is you'll see I'm always shaking it and I shake it all day long. I wanna make that frog add a little action. I mean, rather than just having that frog swim back to the boat, I wanna add a walk the dog action to that frog. You know, just like a frog swims. And that's one of the neat deals with these live target frogs. Because of their design, you can actually walk the dog with it. And how you do that is plain and simple. You just pop it, just like any other walk the dog style bait. Sarah Spook or you name it. You cast it out there and you pop it. But here's the key. There's always slack in my line to give it that walk the dog action. Oh no, it was not, come on. Don't think you were very big, but I only want to find out. Like I said, only one way to find out. Yeah. Pretty glad I did, because that right there is a pretty decent keeper largemouth. Not a giant, but I'll take him.